to fix it. Block from watching the big match? Save the day by using the Bank of America customized cash rewards card and choose to earn 3% cash back on online purchases, like live streaming. Empire makes it so easy that you just don't need to shop around. Everything that we need to get it done and get it done right. The new flooring just changes your whole house. 800-588-2300, Empire. Today. Marshall's buyers have a very particular set of skills. They can hunt down the latest trends. Double denim is back. So chic. And take quality very, very seriously. Ceramic. They're highly trained deal-making professionals who travel far and wide to hustle the best of the best for you. We get the deals. You get the good stuff. Marshalls. Sheba Turk. Weekdays. KCAL News Mornings. Now at 7, thieves bust into a Whittier home overnight, leaving a family shaken up. We're live from the scene as the search for the suspects continues. Plus, move over parental controls. Instagram taking matters into its own hands. We're talking the new teen account options with a specialist coming up. And keeping the skies above California clean. We'll look at the efforts to curb airplane emissions and why the airlines are now fighting back. is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, September 18th. I'm Jamie Ukas. I'm Rudy Shabazi. Thanks for waking up with us here on KCAL News Mornings and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Meteorologist Paul Diano joins us now with a look at our next weather forecast. We have gotten some relief. We have gotten some relief. Yeah, the heat is gone. A little crisp in the morning, huh? <laughs> We're yeah, talking wear overnight. a jacket. Yeah, 40s, 50s for overnight lows. It looks beautiful outside, but it is another chilly morning out there. Some of your overnight lows, Corona and Loma Linda dropped below 50 degrees. Chatsworth down to 54, Arcadia 54, Garden Grove 57. Here's where we finished the day today. Sunny but cooler. We're 11 degrees below average in L.A., down to 73 degrees, 79 for our valley, 79 for the Inland Empire, 70 for our beaches. All the sunshine today. There is a shower chance coming up tomorrow. We'll have more in the next weather seven day forecast in a few minutes. Right now, traffic with Kalina. Good morning. Hi, good morning. So I'm starting off with that SIG alert on the 101, which has been here for a while. Northbound pass is Virginus, two left lanes and that right lane are still blocked off. So cars are just getting by in the middle lane this morning. The problem is it looks like this. So it's been bumper to bumper for the past two hours or so. You can take your alternate route this morning to avoid this hour and 43 minute commute. Drivers are going for the 118 already. I'm seeing some slowing pop up, but it is a stretch. However, it will get you around that delay that you're seeing there on the 101. We also have this crash north on 605 before the 5. The right lane is off limits. That's a backup coming off that 91. And speaking of the 91, we still have a signaler in Orange County. This is because of an overturned trailer. Westbound 91 before the 5. The carpool and left lane are blocked off. That's a backup of about 33 minutes. You can't take the 22, though, to get around it. Back to you guys. Lena, thank you. A high-speed pursuit comes to an end, but not before causing a crash involving the LAPD. Assignment manager Mark Lewis at the desk with details of this one, Mark. Yeah, this was a dangerous high-speed pursuit. At the end, the driver got out and ran. LAPD took him into custody. But that crash you mentioned, it involved a patrol car that was on their way to this pursuit that just struck somebody passing through an intersection. I'll have some more details on that in just a second. Let's get to the pursuit first. What you're going to see here is video with SkyCal from about 5 this morning. That gray four-door Hyundai. LAPD officers from the Rampart Division started chasing it around Wilshire and Lucas in the Westlake District because they realized this was what's called a cold plated vehicle. That is the license plate of this car didn't match the make or model, usually indicating that it's stolen. Now LAPD ground units and the airship followed it here to near Norton and 43rd in Lemur Park when that driver finally got out after parking into the parking lot of a business. You can see the spotlight of the air unit overhead. That driver got out. Now there weren't any LAPD rampart units close by at the time. They were just transitioning from tracking mode back into pursuit mode. You can see that driver running through this darkened neighborhood here. LAPD units coming up on the street right behind him. At some point, that driver went right under a tree, but SkyCal turned around, saw him, and you can see LAPD units taking that driver into custody. He was the only one in the car. No injuries to anyone, but I want to show you some video of something that SkyCal caught here. This was La Cienega and Sentinella, and you can see right there, 
an LAPD unit was entering that intersection. It appears on the red with their lights and sirens on when a civilian car just went